Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a sage moon rising. Today, I will be doing the sun moon rising of water signs. So, let's get to it. What we got going on? Ooh. What we got going on for my water signs? Let me get one more. Hmm. So it says, they don't respect you finding anything to disrespect you. They will regret it. We got 444, clarity and decisiveness. What you've been preparing for is finally, into, is finally coming into fruition. We got fasting and prayer will get you closer to God. We got let go of bad patterns, let go of addictions. We got extortion. It says, can't force and threaten you no more going down for this ish. Karma times 10. And we got everything that meant that's meant for you will come. Heal and rest for right now. So let's get to it. My bad, y'all. When I be writing this shit, I be having to look at my hand right like, what the hell did I just put? But yeah, let's go. Let's get to it. So why is they don't respect? Yeah, five of cups. So somebody is going to be at a loss. They're going to be grieving. They're going to be in despair. Feeling abandoned. Feeling guilty. Remorseful. And in regret. Seven of cups. Because somebody was in an illusion when they came to you, Queen of Cups. And that's the fucking truth. I'm saying that you could be in a long-term relationship and somebody wanted you ghosted. So they started to plot on you. This is somebody who tried to play God in your life. Now they dumbass is under judgment. Looking stupid. Powerless as fuck. You also got a king of wands. They want to have a brand new beginning with you. This is somebody who has a financial new beginning, new job, new business. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. Somebody didn't respect you, and they tried to find anything to disrespect you. Now they're regretting it in their Five of Cups energy. Why is 444 here? Clarity, indecisiveness. Yeah, Ten of Swords. So you could have went through some type of betrayal, breakup, divorce. It's an ending to this defeat. Yeah, with the Page of Cups, you got good news coming towards you. You're being told to listen to your inner voice. Yeah, psychic messages, you know, because you got joy for news coming towards you. Yeah, with the six of wands, you're being recognized. You're getting some type of success, victory. You're winning. You're overcoming. You're having an advantage. Yeah, and with the three of swords, somebody is heartbroken. Temperance, that you was able to alchemize the energy. Ace of cups, and welcome and love in your life. Nine of wands, you persevered. Star card, you healed. Five of wands from some type of conflict, adversity, battle. Five of Pentacles. And now somebody else is about to go through some temporary financial difficulties. Negative chances and circumstances. Feeling left out in the cold. Financial loss. Adversity. Struggles. Yeah, Hierophant. For trying to play God. Two, um, four of Wands. And your twin flame connection. So there is a community here. So this could be a community of religious people. That's about to go through poverty. For causing conflict to your healing. I'm saying that you show nothing but love to these people. And, of course, you was going to persevere because you're an alchemist. Somebody is heartbroken that you're getting victory and success. And it's because you listen to your intuition. And, yeah, you're ended some type of defeat. Yeah, you had clarity. You already had clarity about somebody trying to betray you. <laughs> Why is fasting and prayer will get you closer to God? Why is this here for my water signs? Ooh, Knight of Wands in reverse. Arrogant, reckless, hyperactive, daring, overconfident, show off. <sighs> You're being told to walk away from that. Okay? Page of Pentacles. You got good news coming towards you. You've already closed out a cycle with this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles could have been working with a high priestess. This could be a King of Cups. <sighs> oh, so. Uh, There's the King of Cups here. They're about to receive karma. 
this could be somebody you're dating yeah you're about to be single self-sufficient independent your wishes is about to be fulfilled you're about to balance out a situation you just could be holding on to something queen of swords that you need to cut off death card and let go of yeah you probably listen to your intuition about people collaborating with this queen of pentacles you've already closed out the cycle you've already learned a lesson and you're walking away from being arrogant reckless hyperactive daring and overconfident so this could have been your this could have been you one point in time you abandoned you abandoned those ways page of pentacles you learned the lesson the world card and closed out the cycle Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's a Queen of Pentacles that's wanting to work with you, High Priestess. This could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, or there's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn High Priestess that, you know, want to work with you. Hmm. Why is fasting and prayer will get you closer to God? I want to see what this is about. Yeah, Five of Wands. There's some type of conflict going on, like I said. And um, you got the Holy Spirit here. Only thing you need to do is, is go within. Go within, meditate. Yeah. Ten of Cups. Because you have a marriage, long term relationship. You have a happily ever after here. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you have numerous options to choose from. I see you going on a whole brand new path, and somebody is in regret. Because you got money coming in, and they're going through a tower. This could be a couple. That's their karma. And there's a family here that's been trying to block you. But you persevered. Hmm. So, yeah. <clears throat> Why is extortion here? Can't force and threaten you no more. Going down for this ish. Karma times 10. Why is this here? Yeah, justice. Somebody is getting karma for trying to extort you. Yeah. Somebody took an impulsive ass action and charged towards you. They tried to go to war with you. Hangman reverse. Now they are dissatisfied. Disinterested. Because they got stagnation. And they keep going through the same negative patterns. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you've already walked away. Page of Pentacles. And um, you're in a solid new beginning. You're setting goals. Making plans. You know, taking advantage of your opportunities. Two of Wands. You're planning for the future. And... You could be manifesting. Yeah. Hmm. You're choosing to manifest. And there's a queen of pentacles working with a high priestess. And a king of cups. To take an impulsive ass action. Towards somebody you're dating. Hold on y'all. So again. Um, yeah. You're choosing to manifest yeah you're being you're choosing to be creative when it comes to your visualizations you do got a queen of pentacles here towards very capricorn this person is working with a high priestess and a king of cups to take a to take a um to take action towards somebody you're dating so that it could be single this is their wish fulfillment to cause imbalances but it's an end to this cycle so basically what's going on is like, <laughs> this is so slow. It's the end of this cycle. Your wishes has already been fulfilled. You was already able to balance out the energy and be self-sufficient and independent. Somebody you're dating, a king of cups, they could be um very confident, a free spirited person, open minded, but at the same time forgiving, friendly, caring. They're family oriented. You're being told to listen to your intuition though. About this group. Mainly this Queen of Pentacles, because they're doing magic. This is the path they chose. And it's because you moved on. You took advantage of an opportunity. And they're dissatisfied. So they call themselves trying to attack you. And now they get the fucking karma with they dumb ass. Like, that's how we're gonna do that. Like, get your stupid ass on. It says everything that's meant for you will come. Heal and um, get you some rest right now. Yeah, three of swords. You could be heartbroken. You could be feeling betrayed. You could be feeling lonely, depressed, unhappy, turmoil, grief, sorrow, restless. You're being told to basically heal. There's the king of wands. 
that's feeling trapped, confined, victimized, restricted, and bound. They're on the judgment. Right along with their lover. <laughs> They're about to have a tower. Because they paid somebody to cause you loss, knowing that you were innocent. Yeah, somebody was in a fucking illusion about you, Queen of Cups. <laughs> wow. Mm, 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 mm. So there's a tower coming to a couple. They're under judgment and they're powerless. And this King of Wands is heartbroken. Again, they paid somebody with their Ace of Pentacles, Five of Cups, to cause you a loss, to cause you grief, to cause you sorrow. Why is letting go of bad patterns? Let go of addictions. Yeah, magician. You need to take the action and have the power to let go. Okay? That's a fucking yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It says you it says basically what it's letting what basically what it's telling you is that you have the willpower, okay? You have the willpower to let go of bad patterns and to let go of addictions with this magician. With the death card, you're being told to let it go. Yes. Reject it. Okay? This could be an X. Okay? You're being told to overcome this obstacle. Okay? Because somebody is a liar. Alright? So cut they ass the fuck off. Because all they do is be insecure and create illusions out of insecurity. So yeah, I mean, shit, this could be a drug addiction, a sex addiction. This could be you smoking cigarettes. It's an addiction. You know, it ain't got to be nothing that deep, but hey, let go of the bad pattern. Y'all seen what it said. You had the magician, meaning you have the willpower. You have the willpower. You can do it. You can do it. Let that shit go. Yes. Once you let it go, you have success freedom and joy four cups you're being told to reject something six of cups and eggs cherry this is how you're going to overcome obstacles seven of swords you have a liar you have a cheater king of swords you're being told to cut they ass the fuck off moon card because they get they get insecure and they start creating illusions it's just that simple some people you just can't help and at the same time, like, why take yourself through some shit? If you can heal, why can't they heal? What we got going on? We got horseshoe. It says, good luck. Okay, water signs. You got dolphin. It says, financial gain. Usually coming from something you did in the past. We got October. We got handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. And then we have bag. Something important, such as a new job and a raise yeah news is on the way you got bird flying so you got news on the way so let's see what's going on why is horseshoe here good luck why is this here for my water signs hmm. what's that they fell on the floor yeah you got good luck in a partnership <sighs> so there's the king of wands here aries leo or sage this is somebody that's stuck in the past. And they call themselves working with other people here. Okay. Yeah. This is a couple that's about to go through poverty for creating an illusion. Just so they can lay something to rest for you. So this is a king of wands and a king of pentacles. This is a couple. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sage, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Well, it is an Aries, Leo, Sage, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn couple. And the thing is, it could be a feminine fire sign, a feminine earth sign. But both of them is showing up in masculine energy. Why is Dolphin here? We got financial gain. Yeah, with the Knight of Wands, you're being told to go after your passion. Sun card. Because you have success. You have joy. You have freedom. You have completion here. Yeah, Four of Wands. I'm saying that you could be being celebrated. You could be coming home, reuniting with family and friends. You could be in a twin flame connection. Yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles, something is working. Two of Wands, whatever path you choose... You're going to get victory and success. So it's like you mastered yourself and you chose to plan for the future. And this is how you was able to overcome an obstacle. And somebody is going through some type of dark night of the soul. 
a group of bitches here because they partner up with each other just to be seen as self-sufficient independent but you know you listen to your intuition and walk away from them so basically it's like you are independent and it's like a group of people that's together i guess they don't like the fact how you're independent and how they had to work together oh so, well who gives a fuck yeah you was able to alchemize the energy and stand in your power even though somebody tried to sabotage you or sacrifice you yeah they wanted you to go through a sudden upheaval, a loss, a crisis. And you was able to balance out the energy. Yeah, somebody called themselves lying on you. Trying to be an enemy in disguise, but wanted to be seen as your friend. That's the truth. This motherfucker is under judgment. This queen of pentacles is getting karma. They're blocked. Cut off. From the family. Missed the opportunity. Stupid. Why is October here? Yeah, five of swords. So somebody's going to try to come and play mind games. They're going to try to defeat you. They're going to try to bully you and intimidate you. That's a fucking yes. They're trying to take an impulsive edge action. And they're trying to blindside you. This is the motherfucker that's been attacking you. You got a queen of wands here. Aries Leo of Sage. Queen of swords here. They're holding on to some deep-rooted past issue. And they're coming up with some type of plan to slow up your finances or slow up your process. And they think that they can cloak their soul. These are motherfuckers that's watching you move on to common waters and they're weighed the fuck down because you're getting what you deserve. <laughs> Goofies. Goofy goobers. That's what you gotta call them. Goofy goobers. <laughs> Why is handshake here? Yeah, the world in the reverse. So there's not, so basically, a cycle is not over. Is, is not over. There's a cycle still open, okay? Queen of Pentacles, and it's because somebody is being, I mean, not Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups in reverse. So somebody is being spiteful, revengeful, okay? Emotionally manipulative, and they need to walk away from that and listen to their intuition so they can be self-sufficient and independent. This is a couple that are third parties. So this is somebody that's in a fucking relationship, but they got a nerd to try to be a third party. This is why this bitch is going through sleepless nights and the anxiety and why you're overcoming obstacles. And again, it's because you planned to actually master yourself so that you could be stable and have self-control and self-discipline. You're showing up as the emperor or the empress. And this is causing somebody sadness because they fucking lost. This is somebody who plotted against you. They paid motherfuckers to betray you. And you're still showing up. Yeah, it's because of your faith. You believe in the divine. This is why somebody is going through a tower. Because they tried to sacrifice you. And you had the scrimp to overcome it. And alchemize the energy. You've persevered. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, somebody had you fucked up when they tried to sacrifice you. Let's just, let's just speak that into existence. They had you fucked up when they try to sabotage you or sacrifice you. Sacrifice ain't got to be a literal sacrifice. Sacrifice could be a motherfucker talking shit about you to the whole group. Trying to turn everybody against you. So the motherfuckers wouldn't fuck with you. That's sacrificing you. Sabotaging you. Sacrifice is a lot of things. Why is bad here? Something important, such as a new job or raise. Why is this here? High Priest is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So, because you are accomplished, getting your wishes fulfilled, you got either an obsessed-ass couple or somebody is obsessed. Hmm. You could accomplish something and somebody is obsessed with either your platform or somebody is trying to control a twin flame connection. High priestess. Listen to your intuition. It's either one of those. It's like you could be somebody with fulfillment and somebody could be obsessed with your twin flame connection. You could have accomplished something and somebody could be obsessed with whatever you created for yourself. But listen to your intuition because you know who the fuck this is with that high priestess at the bottom of the deck. You know? 
people weird people get weirder by the day so i mean i wouldn't be surprised if somebody is obsessed with a social media platform you're on yeah with the knight of pentacles somebody tried their best to slow up your process and got rejected yeah then hella regret feeling remorseful what we got going on and it's like you're already skeptical about this person yeah with the page of wands you got good news coming towards you but at the same time you need to be bold and confident on your journey your page of pentacles you got two pages here <laughs> so these are childish ass people okay plotting and planning thinking they're gonna get so somebody thought it was gonna get good news they they came up with an idea to steal something from you yeah this was supposed to be your happily ever after or somebody felt like they was gonna be able to steal something from you and it was gonna be their happily ever after this motherfucker is going through fear and anxiety for playing mind games for trying to bully you and intimidate you just period like what why is the page of wands here like at least like at least stand 10 toes down and what the fuck you do you feel me why is the page of wands here for my water signs yeah, Six of Pentacles. Somebody thought it was going to get good news trying to siphon off your life force energy, trying to take something from you. Somebody thought it was going to be was gonna get good news by taking something from you and giving it to someone else. Knight of Cups. You could be dating someone. Yeah, that you're destined to be with. And you're moving on to calmer waters. Listening to your intuition and alchemizing the energy. Again, somebody lost. They thought they cloaked themselves. This is somebody that's watching you. A king of wands. Ex, who you left out in the cold. This motherfucker was in an illusion. This person was your fucking divine masculine the whole time, but they've been plotting on you, causing conflict for you, being insecure. You know, like fuck you, ho. <laughs> Why is the six of pentacles here? Yeah, ten of pentacles. So you got good news coming towards you. It's like you could be investing into something, and it's growing. It's like you're getting paid for your services. Ten of Pentacles. Now you have a legacy. An inheritance. Ten of Swords. And somebody is trying to cause you a painful ending. They try to double kill. Yeah, somebody is trying to double kill. And they taking an impulsive ass action. Thinking they're going to gain momentum. With a King of Cups. So there's a... You got a King of Cups that's obsessed with you. That's the fucking truth. This person is trying to blind you with the truth. That they're the ones that's causing you imbalances. Their dumb ass is under judgment. Stupid. There's also a family that tried to like overkill a situation. Like they already betrayed you, but then they tried to like betray you again. Like, oh my gosh. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, Queen of Wands. So there's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that's in a family dynamic that is trying to dictate what you get and what you don't get. And they think they're gonna get good news off this. <laughs> Yeah, with the two of cups, this could be pertaining to a partnership you're in that's a part of your spiritual calling so that you can heal. That's a yes. Like, you could be in a connection here. Or you could be in a connection where it's a part of your spiritual calling. It's like you're healing, you know, you're breaking free, you're, you know, listening to your intuition, you know. Somebody weird. Why is the page of pentacles here? Tower. So somebody came up with a plan to cause you a natural disaster. To cause you sudden upheaval. But it's the end of this cycle. And it's because you cut their ass off. It's like... You got a queen of wands behind your back. That's in a family dynamic. Trying to siphon off of your life force energy. And they think that they're going to get good news. You got... You, Queen of Swords, you could have cut somebody off, set clear-cut boundaries, close out the cycle. Now they're going through a tower for whatever plan they came up with. You got a King of Wands here watching you in a fucking illusion, trying to slow you up because they're in an illusion. This is why they're about to be left out of the code. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah. Somebody lied. Five of Cups, because they lost. Knight of Cups. <laughs> like I said, whoever you're dating with the judgment, the Knight of Cups judgment, whoever you're dating, they are a part of your life purpose. 
Somebody lost when they tried to lie, steal, cheat, or be an enemy in disguise. It's like, the fuck? Be your true self. You don't like somebody. Say you don't like them. Why is the Knight of Cups here? You have four cups. Hmm. So you're over this little trio of bitches. You're holding back from working with their ass, which allows you to get victory and success. Because somebody tried to sabotage you. Then they got to lay that shit to rest because you persevered. Goofy. Goofy Goobert. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Yeah. You could be in a long-term connection with your soulmate. You're going to have a happily ever after in a partnership. Seven of Cups. Somebody was wishfully thinking that they could cause you a painful ending. Or somebody was wishfully thinking that they could cause a breakup, a divorce. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Sagittarius. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, Empress. This is somebody's mother, baby mother. They are either a Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini. Hmm. Yeah, Six of Swords. You and your lover is moving to common waters. Y'all healing. Like I said, somebody is an illusion. They was wishfully thinking that they could cause y'all a breakup. By taking an impulsive ass action with their goofy ass. <laughs> this is a goofy. This is a goofy goober, yeah. <laughs> For real, you gotta call them that. Yeah, your partnership, again, is part of your spiritual calling. <laughs> like, I can't, I, like, somebody is heartbroken that your spiritual calling involves a partnership that you're in like bitch move on like if this person is like i, I don't get it i don't get it because when once you over 25 i don't even see why you even chasing behind a man like okay early 20s i get it teenagers because when you in your early 20s you 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 just really got you just really was got able to date like you most people couldn't date till they was like 18 you could date at 16 but let's like like let's let's, let's really be real you really ain't an adult till you 21 you really don't know what the fuck going on so we ain't gonna judge you but if you fucking 30 and you're doing you're you're yeah go get help bitch why is the six of swords here this is sad it's like like what the hell is you doing yeah, five of wands. So somebody, some motherfuckers is in competition with you because you're the high priestess. They don't like you being a high priestess. So motherfuckers know that you know. So you're getting punished for what you know. I think I did this in my last reading. I say you're getting punished because of what you know. Motherfuckers want to go up against you because you know. You know that this king of cups is obsessed with you, Empress. They know that you're innocent, but they still out here doing magic. That's why they're cut the fuck off. Like somebody, <laughs> oh, it's so fucking funny reading it because it's like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? Yeah, there's a queen of wands behind your back. They're behind your back because you cut their ass off. You say clear cut boundaries with them. You're over the conflict. There's a family here. You've already closed out a cycle with. You're dating someone and you're moving on. I'm saying that whoever this is that tried to siphon off your life energy, they're going through a tower. Okay? They're in hell of regret, this couple. Hmm. It's two people at the bottom of the Six of Pentacles. And it's two people that's on the tower. And it's two people on the lovers. Hmm. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Somebody is going through a dark night of the soul. They're having fear and anxiety go through their mind. And it's causing them to be up at night. Yeah, Ten of Swords. So somebody is going through a dark night of the soul because they know that they're going through a painful ending. Four of Wands. This is a community. Knight of Pentacles who call themselves trying to slow you up. So it's a group of bitches here. And a, it's a group of bitches here that try to slow you up. And a twin flame dynamic by causing you a painful ending. By causing you some type of dark night of the soul. Whoever these three bitches is, they're the distance from you. And what's coming towards them? You see that three of you see that three of cups, that three of wands. The three of wands is what's coming towards you. 
what's coming towards these group of bitches is poverty. They are about to be feeling left out in the cold and powerless. They're not even going to see it coming because something has already been laid to rest. Or for trying to lay you to rest. So yeah, um, somebody called themselves trying to slow up your progress because they saw you as competition. It's a group of them. And you're over it. And you're cutting motherfuckers off. And you're standing in your power. Yeah, you got a community here who you moved away from. I'm saying that you could be dating someone. Closing out a cycle with a family that caused you a painful ending when it came to a twin flame connection. They lost and now they're about to go through a tower for trying to siphon your energy. They're about to go through a dark night of the soul. Because you're going to have a happily ever after. And whoever this thief is that came up with this plan thinking they was going to get good news. Mm -mm. This thief lost. And whoever they're dating is rejecting them. So just like how they wanted you to be rejected by somebody you're dating. Their lies is causing them to lose somebody that they're dating. Look how that came out. Just stupid. Like, just mind your business. Like, I get it. Like, me, I went through a lot of shit in my life. Like, I'm the queen of swords because of the shit I went through in my life. I'm not the queen of swords because I know it all. No, the fuck. And I don't know it all. But I do know certain shit. And I know certain shit because I felt a lot. See, in order for you to be a queen of swords, a lot of people don't understand the cards. They think tarot, you got to read the books. It's deeper than that. Wisdom come from experience, okay? Queen of swords is wisdom, okay? King of swords is wisdom. It's like mental clarity, you know? It's like you, it's like you having to lose back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back, but from every loss, you trained yourself to be better you know that's what people don't understand about the queen of swords you lose but you want to be better than the person that lost you know you learn from past failures hmm hey well what we got going on we got the will of fortune ace of pentacles I'm saying that something was destined for you. This is a gift from the divine. Yeah, page of cups. You're being told to listen to your intuition. Your inner voice. Okay? Three of swords. Mm. So somebody wants to apologize from causing you heartbreak because you're laying shit to rest with them or something is being laid to rest for them. Yeah, knight of swords. So, basically, somebody who tried to go to war with you Something is being laid to rest for them. And now they're heartbroken, wanting to apologize. What? Well, yeah, seven of cups. So somebody was in an illusion. Somebody allowed their emotions to take over the way they feel. This king of pentacles, this could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a Taurus. So there's a Taurus here who you're moving away from. Oh, I, I, well, I don't do cross watch readings, you know. I really don't believe in that. I believe you should watch your reading. But yeah, um, for my water signs, it's like you could you could have been dealing with a tourist. This could be somebody that's married. You know, this is somebody who want to be God. I just heard, this is somebody who wants to be God so bad. You've already moved away from this person. You're already on a brand new path. And they could be trying to do magic. Yeah, that's the truth. So somebody is doing magic because you cut their ass off and you let them go. This is a man. This is not a woman. This is a man. And if this is a woman, she's a man energy. Why is the page of cups here? Yeah. You are this badass being for the life, love, and possibilities. Six of wands, you're being recognized. Hangman, you're being told to let go of a queen of pentacles. In law. Because this is the motherfucker that's going to try to hold you back. This is the motherfucker that's holding on to some deep-rooted past issue. This is an in-law, a Taurus Rigger Capricorn. You're being told to let them go. Okay? Why is the three of swords here? Or you're being told to let go of some shit that happened with you and them. Okay? Like, if it's, if it's some shit that happened, let change your perspective about this Queen of Pentacles. Okay? Why is the three of swords here? Yeah, somebody is heartbroken that they missed the opportunity. 
Yeah, nine of pentacles, you're single, you're self-sufficient and independent, and you're standing your ground. You're going to make sure you heal. So it's like, what's going on is, somebody is heartbroken that you're skeptical about them coming in. It's giving like you're over it. You rather do something by yourself with that nine of pentacles and with the seven of wands, you're standing up, star card, and you're healing two of cups, a partnership you're in. So it's like you're defending, healing, or you're defending, or you're defending the faith of a partnership, or you're defending something because you have faith in a partnership. Yeah, it's like, no, bitch, back up. Like, <laughs> Ace of Cups, yeah, it's like you have unconditional love, Two of Cups, for somebody that you're in a relationship with, and you are helping heal this person, and you're blocking someone that tried to sabotage you. Hmm. Oh, well, why is the Four of Swords here for my water signs? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So somebody is laying some shit to rest. Yeah, they paid somebody to watch you. So you lay some shit to rest. Or you could be taking a break. And somebody is paying somebody to watch you. Ten of swords. Uh, you could have broke up with somebody and they paying somebody to watch you. Like some P.I. shit. Like, get your goofy ass out of here. But yeah, you could be taking a break. And somebody is paying somebody to watch you. Just so they can cause you a painful ending. This is an impulsive ass action. They will get karma. <laughs> It's like, if they take this action, they're going to get karma. So, <laughs> laugh at they dumbass. Somebody is stupid as fuck. Like, I just, I cannot. Karma is going to come when they take this action to cause you a painful ending. They keep watching your finances and wondering why you don't got nothing to say to their ass. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Yeah, somebody tried to war with you. They tried to, um compete with you war with you yeah five of cups and lost so whoever this is that was trying to war with you they lost five of cups knight of cups yeah they lost to the person that you're dating the person that you're dating hmm so you could be dating someone They could have manifested an empress. Mm -hmm. So, mm. this could be read different ways. So, somebody came in trying to attack you because they lost. And you could be dating someone that they want to manipulate. This could be somebody's mother or baby mother. Something did work, but now it's being exposed. Yeah. Something is being exposed because you are loved unconditionally and you're being told to take action because something is your spiritual calling. Somebody else is dealing with poverty because you have the strength to... Oh, you have the strength to stand on the truth. It's like you stood in your power. You knew the truth about this king of wands and what they was wishing for. They was looking towards this family to like send some shit towards the home that shit is that shit is backfiring on this family so if that's a, if there was a community of motherfuckers sending shit towards you that shit is backfiring on their family eight of wands ten of pentacles look like i said something is being exposed because you are unconditionally loved and you're being told to take action towards your spiritual calling but this is the thing motherfuckers is about to go through poverty because you had the strength to get the truth and there's a king of wands who wish fulfillment was to overcome an obstacle. This is somebody at a distance from you that's in a family dynamic. Do you see that eight of wands? That shit is going back. Like, look, whoever this family is that was sending shit towards your home, they came up with this plan with this queen of wands. This is an Aries because they was way down. These are third parties that's been trying to cause you imbalances. Queen of swords. They're obsessed with trying to play God. Yeah, with the devil and the hierophant, these bitches is obsessed with trying to play God and a connection that you're fucking in. Yeah, you already know the truth. 
It's how you was able to balance out the energy. And you have a third party here or three bitches weighed the fuck down. Yeah, you've already moved on. But you could be holding on to some shit that you need to walk away from. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, let go of that. Let go of this goofy ass shit. No, these these motherfuckers ain't worth holding on to um shit. They're not worth holding on to shit because they're miserable, and miserable loves company. It's like you've mastered yourself to step in this emperor's energy. This is what you manifested. This person that you're dating, <laughs> and somebody lost the war. So it's like whoever you're dating, you manifest this motherfucker. You're the empress. You put in the work for this. Somebody need to move on with their life. With their goofy ass. Why is the seven of cups here? Yeah. Somebody was wishfully thinking. That they could plan. Against a twin flame connection. That shit is backfiring bro. Like, I, like bro I kid you not. That shit is. See, you're this way. It's not hitting you. So if it don't hit you, it's going back. Somebody wanted shit to be sent towards your connection. They came up with this plan. Like I said, they was wishfully thinking. This is somebody who wanted you going through some type of dark night of the soul because what? People was competing with you. Again, you persevered against this group of people. And then you got a king of pentacles here doing fucking root work. They came up with this plan. And um, it's because you cut them off. Somebody could have even plotted on you because you cut their ass off. Like, you, you cut them off, so they, they plotted against you. They ain't like the fact that you cut them off. <laughs> it's some goofy ass shit, but yeah, somebody, somebody did not like that you cut them off. Yeah, with that seven of cups, somebody was wishfully thinking that they could come up with some type of plan with a community to project. Sure did. Why is this eight of wands here? Yeah, chariot. Whatever that was sent towards you overcame the obstacle. Now you have a bright future, inheritance as being a high priestess, and this king of cups. Again, this person you got a you got a Pisces here. There is a king of cups who wanted to be the high priestess in their family. Hmm. They're getting karma for lying. This person is already in into a cycle. This is why motherfuckers is going through towers. Yeah, it's like you've been told to take action. Open up your heart. Because this is where your freedom, your joy, your success come from. You could be weighed down by a masculine and a queen of wands. You're being told to walk away. To, yeah, because you're holding on to some shit and you need to move on from it. Mm hmm. It's like you can't, you can't be light and dark. It's like, okay, dark. A lot of people don't understand what dark is. When you hold on to shit, it makes you bitter. Bitter turns to envy, jealousy, hate. That's why you have to let shit go because it turns to things. Transcend, turn it into light. Transmute it. Alchemize it. You know what to do, Scorpio. You are Scorpio. Cancer, you know what to do. You are Cancer. Pisces, you know what to do. You're a Pisces. Okay? But yeah. You could be in a long-term relationship with a soulmate. This is your karmic justice. You work for this. So, of course, you're going to overcome this obstacle. Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, Justice, Eight of Pentacles, Chariot. There's a Queen of Pentacles. Wanting to heal after taking some type of impulsive ass action towards you, Empress, is going to backfire. I'm saying that somebody tried to sabotage you and got blocked. Now they're going through a painful ending for trying to manipulate a situation when it comes to somebody you're dating. This could be your twin flame. Again, you got victory and success, self sufficient, independently, and somebody is watching you. All right? Somebody is seeing that you're this badass being full of life, love, and possibilities and that they missed the opportunity. I'm saying that you have a new financial in the beginning and somebody is at loss. They in regret because they came up with this plan to create an illusion just so that they can attack you. Now something is being laid to rest for them 
and they're heartbroken. Oh well, that's good news for you. Like people should really mind their business. You wouldn't have to worry about going through shit if you wouldn't mind your business. Yeah, this was somebody's idea. The person that came up with this idea is the motherfucker that's wanting to compromise. Like, get the fuck out of here. What's the closing message for the war signs? Good news. You got good news coming towards you. A miracle. A surprise. Yeah, somebody wants to apologize. Let me get one more. Yeah. Somebody wants to apologize for embarrassing you, gossiping, bullying you, because they're getting fucking karma. And their karma is to go through suffering, darkness, and persecution. Like, what the hell? Why is good news here for my water signs? Yeah, good news is coming towards you. But you're being told to go within, to seek the truth, to seek inner guidance. Because somebody is watching you. Move to common waters. This is somebody that you left out in the cold from a partnership. So that you can go down a brand new path. And they're heartbroken. Doing magic over someone you're dating. Mm. Why is apology here? Yeah, ten of cups. So somebody wants to apologize. These could be your in-laws want to apologize. Because they was out here creating illusions. Just so they can slow you up. They came up with this plan. Because they wanted to like control a situation. And it's all because you cut their ass off. You got a queen of wands here. It's the end of a cycle with this hoe. She's going to have to walk away. Because you persevered. Hmm. Why is bully here? Yeah, this bully did not want to close out a cycle. They're watching you. You ghosted this person because they play too many mind games and they touch some type of action to cause conflict with lies to a community. This queen of wands, who you set clear cut boundaries with, who you're holding back from, because you've already learned a lesson. This is the bitch that's been trying to slow you up with illusions. Mm, 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 mm. Honey. Find your blessings elsewhere. Why is justice here? Whoever this bully is, they're getting karma. Yeah, they're getting karma. They're trying to cloak their self. But they're wishfully thinking. This is somebody who did magic to cause you heart problems, to cause you heartache. Knowing you were innocent in a partnership. This is why they're about to go through poverty and you're about to heal. Somebody's mother, baby mother, father, baby father is going through a dark night of the soul. Because they was out here celebrating with a couple. Hmm. Sad. Yeah, it's an end to a cycle. Because you did the work. You seized the opportunity. And somebody is heartbroken. A couple. Because they're going to be stuck in the past. And you're going to be looking forward. To your future to a bright future let's not forget but yeah um this was going on water signs <laughs> so yeah if the message resonates make sure you like share and subscribe